But where did he get to? Meeting with a Tasmanian. You, sir, have infringed on my territory. I have never heard anything more offensive in my entire life. You, sir, have infringed on my territory. So, dear. I think that there is only one way that we can settle this. Yes, with, with a, a duel. duel. <laughs> 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 oh, how fascinating. What an interesting aroma. Oh, it's amazing. It's almost like it's almost like a quan dog, but a little bit different. <sighs> Come over here. I found a new aroma. Ah, well, well. Yes, that's a fragrant ficus. All right, be quick, pack it up, don't be stingy. Ooh. Yeah! <laughs> Someone save me, please! Ah! Someone help! <laughs> Oot. Oot. My soup. Oot. Oot. Mice. Help! <laughs> Mice. 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 What happened? Hey, where did the sun go? Oh, I can't take it. What a silly bird. Who's there? Let me out of here right now. Forget it. Like I've got nothing better to do. I prey on weak, young, and old, too. I love to waste time in dark dealings, creeping through the shadows. You've been warned. Better run away, or I'll leave you squealing. I have all sharp teeth. My temper's not long. If you are just like me, then that means you're strong. I love scaring kids right out their seats and watch how they all cry for their mommies. You can search the world and seven seas. More wicked than me, you'll find nobody. I have all sharp teeth. My temper's not long. If you are just like me, then that means you're strong. You're absolutely strong. <laughs> To. He must have flown off to eat something. Villain! Hello! If we let spots and stripes get away, then there's no way that we'll ever get our hands on that treasure. Did I just hear someone mention the word treasure? Ah, uh, uh, I, I suppose I did, but uh, just so you know, it's not really any of your business. Everything that happens in Tasman's forest is Tasman's business. What? What do you mean, your forest? Ha <laughs> ha, that's a good joke. If you're out here looking for treasure, then I just need you to do one thing. Bring me a piece of it. I know everything that goes on around here. You got some nerve, buddy. I'll have you know that treasure is all ours. Aha. But is the treasure still even there? Well, it might be, but it isn't for you. <sighs> if you don't want to do things the right way, We'll do it my way. So come on and tell me all about this treasure and where to look for it. Hey, Melky. Ah! 
greater crime than breaking up a duel. You silly fools should have known better. We shall continue this duel. But first, let us deal with these insolent creatures, my dear sir. Uh, maybe, uh, uh, maybe we can all sit down and discuss this, huh? Or, or something like that. Yes, we shall teach them. A worthy lesson, indeed. Get ready. Mike, please do something. Uh, I have an idea. How about I give you Milky? <laughs> He's quiet. He's very nice. What? <laughs> He's a sweet kid. You'll love him. Yes, very nice. <laughs> hey, don't stand around. Let's go. Never in my life have I been dropped to the ground twice in the very same day. If you ask me, we shouldn't tell anyone about this most humiliating episode. What do you say? <laughs> huh? You see that? Do you see how great I am? Without me, you'd have been done for. Now you two really must bring me a share of that treasure. Uh, Spike, uh, let's just do it. Uh, our buddy Tasman here is strong and agile, huh? Uh, he can protect us. Uh-huh. And then what's next? You're gonna want us to bring him our treasure? Don't be afraid, brothers. We'll divide it up evenly. Well, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, if you think that would be fair, I mean... Mike, what do you mean? Well, I happen to know where you can find that crazy bird, your friend. It's a deal! Great. Now tell me all about this treasure. Well, we'll just show you. Uh-huh, we'll show you. <laughs> Leo, I really don't get it. Tell me, why do we need so much food? Well, if we're going to be leaving Australia, Tig, we don't know how long we'll have to be flying across the ocean. Okay, Leo, you're right. We need to hurry. The monkey's treasure might very well be in danger. Kuba? Hey, Kuba! Get out you of see? Do you get it now? Uh-huh. So we follow them and then nab the treasure. We'll snatch it right out from under their noses. <laughs> but where is your flying ship? Well, you see, you said you knew where to find Philin. One, two, and pull! Oh, be careful. Take it easy with my feathers. Hoot, hoot. Pull harder, pull harder! Do a better job this time! Come on, help us! Don't just stand there! Yeah! Come help us! <laughs> I am helping you. Helping you keep a rhythm. One, two, and pull! Hey, why'd you stop? Go on, get back to work! Whoa! <laughs> Lily, I've been thinking. Since you're the captain, how about making me your first mate? <laughs> Lily, you should pick me instead. <laughs> you, Tig? But you're afraid of heights. Well, maybe I am. But I'll be careful. And anyway, Leo, don't forget, you're the one who's always falling over and things like that. Well, I'm more fun. If anyone here should be the first mate, it should be me. Yeah, I agree. However, I'm the first first mate. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, whenever I'm homesick, I just take a look at our boys. They'll never ever change. <laughs> I wonder where Spike and his brother are right now. Yeah. <sighs> Hoot. Hoot. Follow that ship, you bird. Hoot? Stop, stop, stop. Who do you think you're ordering around? 
Oh, yeah, I forgot. From now on, I'll be the one in charge. And whoever doesn't like it can go ahead and jump off. Farewell, Australia! Hi, Melky. The spots and stripes flew somewhere over this way. That means the treasure's got to be nearby. But we're already out of food. Uh, this is the last berry we have. That's the last one. Give it to me. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. What's going no. on? <laughs> um, beautiful land. I told you, didn't I? Come on, my feathered friend. There's plenty to eat just up ahead. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, mice! Happy haunting! <laughs> <laughs> land! Land! Beautiful land! Oh, 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 how I missed you, land! Hold on! Spots and stripes have to be somewhere nearby. <laughs> Who are you? You fell right out of the sky. What are you running from? But, 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 but running? We're not running. Nope. Not running. You just said spots and stripes have to be somewhere nearby. Who are they? And why are you afraid of them? Wait, uh, afraid? Us? Oh, oh, why, yes, of course we're afraid. Spots and stripes are, uh, they're, uh, uh they're horrible monsters. Worse than you. Hmm? Uh, I mean, you're better. Uh, they kidnapped our entire family. Uh, everyone. And uh, now they're hunting me. And my brother. Right, little bro? Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> poor little us. Oh, poor us. Poor us. <laughs> Milky? What's up? Poor us. Oh, yeah. Poor uh, us. Oh, oh, yes. Poor oh, us. Poor oh, miserable so little hungry. creatures. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hmm. We'll be more than happy to take you in and give you some food. Come along with us. <laughs> so go on and tell us more about the monsters you spoke of, the Spots monster and the Stripes monster. Well, well, they're, uh, they're, uh, I mean, they're, uh, uh Wow! Big eggs! Um, I'm, do, do those eggs taste good? Do they taste good? Are you being serious? Those eggs are platypus eggs. Those eggs hold our future children. Uh, no, 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 no. You misunderstood him, your platypusness. What he meant was that the Spots monster and the Stripes monster really love delicious eggs for lunch. Yeah, lunch. And dinner as well. And breakfast also. What? But they wouldn't dare. Yes, beware the spots and stripes. It would be best if you attack them first. These monsters are going to regret ever stepping foot near our great village. Right, my platypus friends? Yeah, we won't let anyone take away our children. Well, we gotta go. Thanks for your hospitality, ooh, Doodles. Ah, ooh, Doodles. Ah, ooh, come on, brother. Ah, come on. Ooh, come on, little ah, ah. Hey, guys. We need to go on a mission for reconnaissance. Great idea, Martik. In the meantime, we'll build a shelter for tonight. Tig, let's go. Where are you going? With you to do reconnaissance. <laughs> Martik, you're too young for reconnaissance. 
Why don't you go and help the girls? La 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 la. We're discovering a world of miracles, and we cannot That's wait. That's not fair! I want to go on a reconnaissance mission too. I mean, after all, it was my idea. Cuba, we'll show them. You and me are not little babies. Come on. I wonder. Do you think there are any monsters out here? Whew. Now that I've stretched my legs, I'm ready. Huh, huh. I'm ready to fight them. Huh. Hey, is anybody here? Hello? Where is everyone? monster. They fit the description. They're really small for monsters, though. Hey, who are you calling a monster? Us? I think they're still children. Hey, let, let us, us go, go already. already. Hey. It's disappeared. One of the eggs has disappeared. Did you steal one of our eggs? We didn't steal anyone's eggs. They must have hit it. Where is it? Confess. You're not getting out of that cage until you tell us where the egg is, you monsters. We didn't steal anybody's eggs. Kuba, we have to find that egg somehow. But where do we find the missing oot, egg? Oot, oot, mice. <laughs> mice. Whoa, I know him. That silly villain from our forest. But what's he doing here? Let's follow him. <laughs> uh, stealing their eggs! What a brilliant idea! Yes, it was! Yes, it was! <laughs> I'm a genius! <laughs> <laughs> now, spots and stripes will leave us alone. <laughs> it seems like local mice don't want me to find their hiding places. Well, if you say so, then let's keep flying! <laughs> the treasure awaits us. Of course! It all makes sense now. You keep them here. I'll bring back the ones with the beaks. Huh? Wait, wait, who's over there? <laughs> it's Kuba. Get him. He's all alone. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Spike, what do we need a four for? Uh, I guess you're right, huh? <laughs> Hey, Billy! Come on, let's move! Get out of here! <laughs> the eggs are overloaded! What are you doing? Get out of here, Kuba! Yeah, go away! Look, there's your eggs! Aha! Get those imposters! <laughs> so much, brave Martik and courageous Kuba. You saved our children. Please forgive our rudeness. Your enemies managed to deceive us. Martins can be like that. But how did they get here? Can you please tell us exactly where here is? Everything is so strange and so different. And you are all so interesting. Yeah, well back where we come from, only the birds have beaks like that. We're surprised to see you as well. But there's no need to be alarmed. There is an ancient legend that long, long ago, the land was once one. And it was surrounded on all sides by vast oceans. The ancient earth had all kinds of different animals and birds. Some were like you, and some were like us. Yet they all lived together, and nothing ever came between them. But then, 
disaster struck, and the Earth split apart. Parts of the Earth floated away on the world's ocean. You floated to the north, and then became Eurasia. Well, we platypuses stayed on this piece of land, which is called Australia. So that means this is Australia? <laughs> what are the Martins doing in Australia? Villain, you keep flying. The treasure's nearby. <laughs> 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 What is this? All the leaves have turned brown. It sort of looks like a drought. Do you think we should land? Whoever lives here probably needs some hey, help. Hey, you guys! Take a look at this! Down there! <gasps> What's that? Whoa! Oh no! I can't see what I'm doing! <laughs> The stone flower. Oh, the moors. I think that's what this was. It's all smashed. It's all ruined. We can't fly with this big hole. We need to fix it. OK, guys, let's split up. Mila, Yara, and Lily, go find some food and water. Tig and I will work on fixing the ship. <gasps> Leo, Leo, take a look. <gasps> oh. I am Taraval, the 82nd, uh... <laughs> How's it going? Uh, how's it going? I hereby accuse you. Hmm, okay. I hereby accuse you... Of a most terrible crime. <gasps> I know the rest. <laughs> of a most terrible crime. Who more? Take them into custody! But there are so many. In Kubor, Kubor's just one. Would you be so kind as to tell us what the crime is that we committed? Uh, uh, well, uh... uh I can do it, Dayan. A long time ago, there came an era of a most terrible drought when not a single green leaf was left in the whole of the sacred eucalyptus grove. The entire koala tribe nearly starved, but one very brave koala decided to save them and go in search of water. The road was long and most difficult, and just when she thought that all was lost, a bright spark of light appeared and she saw the scattering of stone flowers. When she broke it off, it began to rain. It watered the desert, and the desert began to bloom once again. Ever since then, the stone flower has been passed down from leader to leader. That's right. Or at least it was, until you decided to destroy my ancestral heritage. And that's exactly why we must punish you, strangers. By the way, Dayan, how exactly should we punish them? Uh, uh. Hold on a sec. I want to go to the scattering of stone flowers. And if they are growing there, I will pick one for you. Then you won't have to punish anyone anymore. Leo, it's too dangerous. You don't even know the way. You'll get lost. No, I won't. Taraval can go with me. Or he can just give me a map. But ugh, I don't know the way. The legend never mentioned that part. And maps? Oh, well, we don't have any maps. Uh, most wise one. Uh, there actually is. A map? But what map? Where is it? Right here. Hoot hoot. Hoot hoot. Well, well. So I guess we'll just follow the spots and stripes. 
And when they find the stone flower, we'll steal it from them. <laughs> hey, hey, shh. We're going to steal it. I said shh. Oh, got it. <laughs> Whoa! We haven't seen this before. Uh, in order not to endanger the precious life of Taraval the 82nd, I suggest that you go around. But that's too far. I've got an idea. Leo, maybe we should go around. Okay. Then like this. Tuba, just calm down. Try to stay still. <laughs> Okay, I get it. I'm bored as well. I have an idea. Let's look for water on our own. Uh, but Kubor, uh, was ordered to guard. Uh, not to look. But you can still guard us on the way. Don't worry, we won't run off. Yeah, we won't escape. Don't you think Terrible will be happy with you if we find water? Happy with Kubor? Uh, yes. Uber really wants that. It looks... It looks like a... Yes, 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 little one. That is the stone flower. But that's nothing. My uncle Pernululu, the 68th, ruler of the great eucalyptus grove on the ocean, taught me a little... Nifty trick to handle even the very biggest wave. <laughs> Tig, it's like the mountain in the winter. Kubor is smart. Kubor will find water and bring back another eucalyptus. Where did you get the strength to be so ridiculous? <sighs> Personally, I'm so thirsty. All I can think about is water. <sighs> I'm just a koala, and koalas never drink water. We just chew eucalyptus. <gasps> be quiet. Do you hear that? What can that strange noise be? <laughs> Good job, Kuba. If the stones are wet, that means that water is nearby. <gasps> it's a really big cave, and it's full of water. But the water looks very deep. Oh, but wait, I thought of something. Yay! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's it. It's the stone flower. But how do we get to it? Hey, you guys, I've got an idea. <laughs> Yara, I need your help. Bring me a piece of that magical rock. In my country, in the jungle, there is an abandoned village. I saw something just like this there. That stone flower! Boy, what's up? <laughs> no! It was your flower, but now it's ours! <laughs> you Give that up. back to us right now! Oh no, now our grove will most definitely dry out. Yay! We did it! Yay! Good job! <laughs> oh, such a shame. <laughs> We've lost everything. <laughs> oh, I'm not worthy of my ancestors. <laughs> Water? Where's that coming from? Oh, what is this miracle? How did you manage to do this? This is your stone flower. <laughs> and a little hard work. 
Good work, girls. <laughs> but how did the map stated, without the stone, the water will not flow? Tig, you mixed it up. The map said the water doesn't flow under the stone. But koalas barely drink water. We just chew eucalyptus. Ah, and don't forget Kubor. He was a very big help. <laughs> Kubor? <laughs> oh my goodness. As a reward, I will give you your own <gasps> eucalyptus. Yes. Hey, hey, make some wet rain. Ho, ho, give me water, stone, stone. Stone, stone. <laughs> Something isn't working. Hey, where's the water? <laughs> Maybe you're not doing the dance the right way. I've had enough of this dance already. <laughs> what are you looking at? Well, hmm. I have no choice but to thank you. Dayan, behold our grove's eucalyptus gum. It is the stickiest in the whole wide world. Here we go, everyone. Full steam ahead. <laughs> The tree pear. The wind is getting stronger. We need to find bigger rocks so the ship doesn't blow away. Uh-huh. Check it out. There's a good rock for the ballast. Hey, let me help you out with that. <sighs> hey, Martin, why don't you try to find a spring? <sighs> Or otherwise, uh, our water will run out. Uh, all right, all right, go heave house. Yeah. Hey, hey, feeling! Oh. Wake up already! Oh. Hey, feeling! Let him sleep, Milky. We can't fly in this weather. Anyway, when he's sleeping, he's not eating. Let's go. Let's go <laughs> see. See if we can find some food. Strange animal. Ha! <laughs> animal. That's a hare. But a lot plumper and with a long tail. And he's hopping through the trees with a pouch on his tummy. And there seems to be a hare in his pouch as well. Oh, I remember. That's called a tree kangaroo. A wallaby. My dad told me all about that animal, and there's even a legend about it. Once upon a time, there were wild animals with quite long tails. They were called kangaroos. They jumped around the earth, and they carried their babies in pouches. There was a baby kangaroo, and it was called a joey. And the joey couldn't jump very far. But one day he learned that at the top of the very highest cliff, there is a magical wallaby stone, which grants a wish only once every hundred years. So the Joey decided to climb all the way up the cliff. It was a long and difficult journey for a little kangaroo, but he managed to climb up the wallaby stone. He made a wish. And afterwards, he began to jump very high and very far, not only on the ground, but also in the trees. They began to call him Little Kangaroo, a tree kangaroo, or a wallaby. I wish we'd find a magical stone. That's just what we need now. Then we could wish for help, and we could get Lily back home even faster. <gasps> Did you hear that, Milky? That cliff over there has a magical stone that grants wishes. Uh-huh. But where do we find it, Spike? Uh, um, hey, that's it. Look over there. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Hi there. You're a good jumper. Look what I can do. <laughs> oh, wow. That was cool. I am Marnik. But who are you? The 
they call me Wallaroo. I'm a tree kangaroo, a wallaby, the best jumper in Australia. Uh, well, soon I'll be the best jumper. Huh, huh. <laughs> Woohoo! Jump over here! Oh! Back into Mama's pouch! Back in the pouch! Back in the pouch, but I can jump all by myself. I'm big now. <sighs> You're so lucky. You get to ride in a pouch. I'd like to try riding in a pouch, even if it were just once. Huh, I've got an idea. You can quietly jump in the pouch instead of me. Then I can practice on my own. All right? <laughs> Spike! Oh, we're never going to make it up there. All we need to do is find ourselves some ninny who's going to show us the way to get up there. Then the magic wallaby stone is going to get us out of here. <laughs> Hooray! Look at me! Freedom! Finally! The most impressive jumper in all of Australia! Hooray! Hey, Spike, maybe he can help us? <laughs> That's true. He is a good jumper. Uh, uh, hey, yo, what's your name, huh? I'm Wallaroo. I'm a tree kangaroo. Listen, and you? jumping on trees is for wimps. But if you climb that big rock over there, now that's where it's at, my little friend. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> but I bet you're too little. There's no way you could do that, could you? Me? You think I'm too little? Listen, you, I can easily jump up there and show everyone I'm not a baby, especially my mama. Oh, what are you waiting for, then? <laughs> Come on, kangaroo. <laughs> Let's go, huh, wormaroo, or whatever your name is. Come on and show everyone what you can do, man. <laughs> yeah, show us. the wallaby stone? Oh, come on, let's go, Milky. We gotta wait for it to warm up and then convince Phyllin to take us all the way up there. Hey, what about me? Wait for me. Just come down the same way you got up there. It's easy. Jump, hop, jump, hop. But we're out of time. We got stuff to do. Hey. Bye-bye. And while you're up there, don't go asking any riddles. Hold on, but wait for me. Why are you leaving me all alone? <laughs> Mama! Joey, wouldn't you like to take a bath? No, 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 Oh, no. you're such a little piggy, aren't you? <gasps> but you're not my little precious Wallaroo. No, I'm Mardik. I'm sorry, ma'am. But where is Wallaroo? He didn't want to ride me in the pouch anymore. He's grown up now and wants to jump on his own. So he's out practicing as we speak. Mama! <gasps> Wallaroo! My Joey! How did he get on the cliff? We must hurry! <gasps> You're so 
so good at jumping! Great work, buddy! <laughs> Wallaroo, you gave your mama such a fright. Thank you, everyone, for helping my little Wallaroo. Mama, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I won't trick you ever again, I promise. Mama was so worried, my son. But if you are able to climb that cliff, then that means that you really are big now. So we can start to practice jumping on the great big eucalyptus tree. <laughs> <laughs> I have the best mama in the whole world. <laughs> Goodbye, kids. Goodbye. 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 We'll see you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you so much, everyone. Come back soon. We'll <laughs> jump on the highest eucalyptus tree together. <laughs> I want to make a wish! No, a treasure! No, I want, no, I want a ship! I want no, I want a treasure! <laughs> no, wait! Quiet, everyone! I wish for the great treasure from the monkey tribe! Ready? Uh, hold, hold. Ah, okay, I get it, fine! I bet that this is all because of that bouncing tree kangaroo baby! That little baby must have already made a wish! He went and wasted our wish! Ugh. Now we're gonna have to wait another hundred years! We failed! <sighs> Let's get out of here. Hoot hoot! Mice! 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 Hoot hoot! Mice! Hoot hoot! 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 <laughs> the funny cassowary. My turn! <laughs> Scaredy cat! <laughs> it's my turn! I won! I won! <laughs> one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Lily, be careful. You should sit down. You're going to fall off. I can't sit down. Not until I finish my stretches. Okay, I get it. I enjoy stretching, too. And one, and... Uh, whoa! Ah! Whoa! Lily! Lily! Ah! 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 Whoa, what happened? Uh... Oh, oh, look who fell down from the sky. How interesting. Who are you? Stay away from me. How did I get here? If I stay away from you, then how will I do this? Huh? 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm Cass. And this is Kalunda. He's a master of the pipe and drums. <laughs> I'm Lily. Thanks for your help. <laughs> hey, do you live here? Huh? This forest is our magnificent home! Home sweet home! <laughs> Can you please tell me where the highest spot is around here? I really need to find it. Oh, it's not far from here. We'll take you there! <laughs> uh, you know, Kalunda and I were just getting ready to have some lunch. <laughs> is it okay if we eat something first? Huh? That sounds good. I'm always ready to eat. <laughs> Uh, so what do you eat here? I don't see anything that looks good to snack on. Follow us, my little friend. We know how to find the best food. Kalunda! <coughs> there is nothing better than going along, strolling the forest while singing a song. <coughs> if you sing a duo with a good friend, all around we'll hear that great sound. <coughs> Feel free to go chance. Sing and do it round. Meanwhile, you dance. Come on, don't be sound. You can join in our fun. Oh, hey, look, it's Cash and Kalunda. Hey, Kalunda. Look! Look at that!
But who's that with him? Hey! <laughs> oh, but such rhythm! What a dancer! Come see our troupe, Lily! Oh, may I? As if you have to ask! Come along, <laughs> there's some food! <laughs> Help yourself. You deserve it. Go ah. right ahead. Well, well. Once again, that clown is embarrassing our proud family and singing his stupid songs for an audience. So unacceptable. Ah. And all those ridiculous dances of his. Utterly disgusting. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. And he has the nerve to go and laugh at us. Ah. Actually, only at you and your butterfly. Get on and get out of our forest. But that, that isn't fair. You can't kick out Cass. He's just like you two. <laughs> We're birds of honor. If Cass wants to stay, then let him show that he's a dignified cassowary. But how can he do that? <laughs> By beating one of them in a traditional cassowary competition. <laughs> and if you win, you can stay. Otherwise, you have to leave and stop embarrassing all of us. And what happens if you lose? Us? <laughs> <laughs> Lily, they both practice every single day. Well, if you lose, you have to dance with Cass. You want us proud cassowaries to jump around like silly birdies? <laughs> Not going to happen. That joker doesn't stand a chance. Well, even so, I'm still going to try. It'll be good to see if these cassowaries can dance to my friend Kalunda's pipe and drum music. <laughs> I declare that the match will take place at the sacred ficus tree. Right? Lily! Lily! Lily, hello! Hello! Lily, answer me! Ugh. Maybe we should land? But where? There's no spot to land around here. It's full of trees. <sighs> Yara, let's fly a little bit lower. Mm-hmm. Okay. We are gathered here today to settle the issue of whether Cass is worthy of being called a cassowary. <laughs> <laughs> now, legend has it that many, many years ago, there was no peace to be found in our forest. There were many arguments and many fights. Some fought over the watering hole. Others were to sleep. And others were because they could not share their food. And the fighting just wouldn't seem to end. The wisest inhabitant of the forest, a cassowary as legend has it, asked the forest to become a fair judge for all the animals in the area. And the forest responded to the cassowary's request. In the blink of an eye, a sacred ficus sprung up from the earth. It was a wise old tree that could always tell a truth from a lie. With its strong branches, it could determine without fail who was right and who was guilty. And then peace proceeded to reign over the forest. Enough legends! That's nothing but an old wives tale. Come on, let's get down to business and kick this buffoon out of the forest already. Well, in that case, then may the great and always fair match of the cassowaries begin. going to throw you out of our forest once and for all! Hey now! This is my forest too! Cass, come on! You can do it! It's almost like dancing! Come on, dance away! Huh? Oh! 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 No! Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? 
See who the real cassowary is around here. <laughs> ah, according to our rules, Cass must leave the forest at once. But that's not fair. I was tripped up. It sounds to me like someone is a sore loser. Did anyone see you get tripped up? Hmm. You see, no one saw anything at all. You're nothing but a clown. And a liar, too! I saw him trip. And if you don't believe me, then let's ask the sacred ficus. It'll tell mm. us who's lying. <laughs> the ficus? That's nothing but a legend, you dumb little animal. Come on! Did you? Really trip him up. I'll have you know that singing and dancing is better than lying in order to win. I, 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 I didn't want to. I, I was, I was wrong. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. <laughs> Cass, you are welcome to stay with us. I think that maybe you're forgetting about one more rule, aren't you? Where's Lily? Lily! Ugh. Lily, hello! This is all my fault. <gasps> hey, guys! Look over there! There she is! Lily! Hooray! Lily! <laughs> all right! <laughs> hey, I have to admit, you're really good at this. I think I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> We're going to get some fruit. We'll be back soon. We know what soon means to you guys. The Royal Aroma. Oh, who's there? <laughs> huh? You're so cute. Who are you? Don't be scared. My name is Yara. And this is Lily and Mila. <laughs> My name is Pasa. Do you need some help? Okay. <laughs> My home isn't far away. <sighs> this smells so good. What exactly is it? That's some pollen. For fragrances. For fragrances? How interesting. Yeah. I make delicious aromas called Pasaroma out of pollen and nectar. I use a very old recipe book. <sighs> That is so amazing. It reminds me of the smell of 1,000 incredibly pretty flowers. Oh, what a wonderful smell indeed. Yes, but it can't compare with the magnificent King's aroma. The only one who knew how to make it was my brother Soma. But my brother was a real master of anything and everything to do with fine herbs. He knew every single recipe. But then one day, Without warning, the great flood carried him off to sea. <gasps> and since then, I haven't ever seen him again. Oh, Pasa, I'm so sorry. Come on, step up, come on. Don't miss out. Come get your different fragrances. All are most wonderful. They're bright, they're delicious, they're flowery. Wow. <laughs> By the way, friends, my name is Opa. Don't forget that name now. Very, very soon I'll be the best aroma master in all of Australia. Ew. This one smells... <clears throat> Not quite right. What do you mean? Which one doesn't smell right? But this smells really great. Aroma Opa is Black Cardamom, Guavastine, David Sonia, Manuka, and of course, Macadamia. Uh, I don't know. Somehow passes just seem kind of so much better. Uh-huh, pasas are better, pasas are more delicious. Fooey, you don't know anything. What's wrong with him? Uh, don't pay attention to him. Oppa just can't seem to get any of his fragrances to smell just right. But you know what? You all helped me. 
So I have a surprise for you. I want to welcome you to my <laughs> special spa. <gasps> what about the others? They're waiting for us. Mila, we'll be really quick, okay? <sighs> oh, come on, girls. A real bath. A nice warm bath. <laughs> oh. Quickly, the flowers are sick. Fungus, it's a fungus. They're all gone. It's a sunny fungus. It'll destroy all the flowers soon enough. And if there aren't any flowers, then there won't be any pasarama either. Or spas, or aroma baths. Oh, no. Wait, hold on. Uh, is there any way that we can cure it? Cure it? That's a great idea. We can cure the flowers from the fungus. I heard it said once a long time ago, a long time ago, that there were these huge flowers called monkey cups. And all those monkey cups gave off a magical pollen which was able to miraculously cure flowers from the sooty fungus. But then, the great flood occurred and we suddenly became an island. Legend says that the magical monkey cups still grow there, but no one can manage to reach that island by swimming. Well, if we're not able to swim there, then perhaps we could... We could fly there? Fly there? That's a great idea! Of course we can fly over there! Maybe our flying ship can... Uh, uh, maybe, um... Maybe you can take Pasa to get the healing pollen? And I'll stay here and try to save the flowers that are left. <laughs> no problem. I'm ready. Let's do this. Ugh. Wait, I forgot to take my baskets back inside. I'll do it. Don't you worry. <laughs> well, where did you disappear to? And why do you smell so good? That's wonderful. Hey, boys. This is Pasa. <gasps> she makes these wonderful fragrances and incredible aromas. And she's in need of our help. That's it! The island! Over there! Hurry! Goodness, it's so cool! Over there! That's them! Look, it's the magical monkey cups! <laughs> ah! Ah! Someone help me! <gasps> Pasa! Don't move! <laughs> Don't go anywhere near these plants, they're dangerous! <sighs> Let me give you a hand. <sighs> Little sister, you've gotten so big. I can't believe my eyes. We all thought you were lost. <clears throat> well, thankfully, I didn't drown in the great flood. The water carried me to this island, but I couldn't find my way back home. Ah, I've been stuck here the whole time. What a nightmare! That monkey cup almost swallowed me up whole. Well, actually, monkey cups are a predatory plant. But Opa told us that they might save the flowers and that their cups might have magical pollen. But monkey cups don't even have pollen. And they definitely don't help cure anything. I think maybe Opa was mistaken. All right, let's get everything and head on back home. Hmm, that's weird. This is not a sooty fungus. This is... Wait, it's... This is nothing but paint! It's paint? But why would someone paint the flowers? Did Opa maybe want to get us off the island for some reason or another? <laughs> Opa is the greatest. Opa has thought of everything. Opa did it. 
Now everyone will only be able to get their fragrances from me. Opa, are you actually trying to steal the recipe book? S Soma? Pasa, uh... What? Were you hoping to never see us again? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Opa, stop! <laughs> Boot! A mouse! Boot! A mouse! Boot! 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 Someone help! Someone help me! Oh no! Opa! We have to save him! Well, little sis, are you ready? Right when we were kids! I can't see! Well, I can't see anything! I can't see! Oh. Oh. I can see! I can see again! Why'd you do that? Why did you save me? If it weren't for your sneaky plan, Pasa wouldn't have ever found me on that island. It's kind of strange, but I owe my being saved to you as well. I'm sorry. I've just never been able to get the fine herbs just right like you always seem to. I was really jealous of you, and I decided to steal the book of recipes to learn the secret. There's actually no secret that can be learned. You see, once upon a time, long, long ago, all the animals came to the Cuscuses for the wonderful and fine aromas. However, one day, the Cuscuses argued over whose aromas were the best of them all, and their souls filled with envy, spoiling even the most perfect aromas. No one came back to the Cuscuses. The recipes were all but forgotten. So, King Cuscus, the wisest of the Cuscuses, ordered that all the recipes be collected and put into one recipe book. And I hid the most important recipe on the very last page. You can mix any aromas you like, you see, but there is one trick that makes all the difference. Do it with love. Pasa. Hey, so, you know, I was wondering, can we take a bath? <laughs> but of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here you go. Try this, please. That's the stuff. Now that is a real royal aroma. Koopa! <laughs> 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 Secret to any task is love and friendship and never envy. Skin of the Sun. <laughs> okay, Mom, I'll go now. No, don't be too late. All right, Mom. <laughs> Jumpster, can't find a better place to sit. He's a striped wool sack. <laughs> Let him be. Mappa Pandiga is waiting for us. Wow, Tig. Let's go. Let's see who's faster. Huh. Have you learned how to run? No. I'm gonna wait for you over there. <laughs> So high. Tig, come on, what's the problem? Seriously, not again, man. Look, I can leap there and back. Just jump. We're gonna be late. The striped one is afraid of heights again. <laughs> Let's take a roundabout. We'll have plenty of time. Oh, of course. A roundabout. Much faster. We'll be there by night. <laughs> wow, awesome. <laughs> one fast is gonna visit the other. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well. Where is it? Okay. Ah, oh, haha, here it is. I found it. All right, kids. When my grandfather was a bear cub, a tiger lived in the giant forest full of trees, beautiful lakes, and formidable peaks. 
the tiger. He was weak and chicken-hearted, so nobody was afraid of him. Once, a severe drought came. The tiger thought, oh, the sun must be the strongest animal in the world. I wish I'd become this strong. So the tiger decided to lay paws on the skin of the sun. But the skin was guarded by a fierce bear. Papa Pandiga, was he as fierce as you are? No, no. A saber-toothed bear. He resides in his big black cave and protects the way of the stone claw, the place where the sun is nesting. So the tiger sneaked past the saber-toothed bear while he was asleep and put on the skin of the sun. The tiger became the most fearless animal in the forest. All the animals and the tiger bowed their heads to him. It was on Equilibrium Day, when night is equal to day. I want to get this skin, too. Tig, I know where the stone claw is. I saw the sun setting down there. And today's the Equilibrium Day. Hurry up! The skin of the sun? Thank, Thank you, you Mama Pandiga! I have to get this skin! Lil, what do you think? Was it for real? All the things that Pandiga told us about? Sure. You heard it, man. I wish I'd become the bravest tiger in the whole forest. How long do you think we've been running for? Huh? What was that? Hey, Tig, we're gonna get the skin of the sun for you, and you'll become the bravest one on Earth. Tig? Tig, what is it now? You just have to walk on this very huge, very wide log. Come on, come on. That's right. Good job. Don't look down. Just look at me. That's it. Okay. No! Tick, hold on! We all got you! Should we go now? Back home? Up the river? Oh no, we're never gonna make it at this rate. Okay, it's not the way. And here is not the way either. Where is it, huh? Aha! Look over there! What did Mama Pandiga tell us? Come and put your paw on the sun tree in the evening, and the way will be enlightened. Run along towards the sunset! <gasps> Leo, look! <laughs> Whoa! I always knew the stories were true. <laughs> Tig, stop talking. Let's run! <laughs> Whoa! I always knew the stories were true. <laughs> yeah. The cave of the saber-toothed bear! We can't go further! Hmm. How can we climb this mountain? Hey guys, over there! <laughs> Climb up this tree! On me! Sun is gonna set soon! Faster! Faster! Run, Tig! 
We gotta get there before the sun goes down. Leo, I think we'd better go back. Come on, Tig. Forget it. Stupid skin. Maybe it doesn't even exist. No skin? What are you talking about? It must be there. Mappa said to catch the sun before it goes down. So run! Come on, come on, we're almost there. The rock is so close. Oh, wow. Look at this. We're so high. Is this the place? Shh, keep quiet. This is the cave of the saber-toothed bear. Whose cave? You mean the saber-toothed... Oh, no thanks, I'll pass. Me neither. Look there. The stone claw. Let's go. <laughs> Leo! Careful! Uh, you know what? You better go on your own. Wait there. I'll bring the skin. The skin of the sun. I'll be the mightiest in the whole forest. Come on. Go down now. What was that noise? Ah, the spotted one. <laughs> hey, you. What do you think you're doing here? The skin is mine. Buzz off while you can. No way. <sighs> I'm here to get it. I won't leave without it. What? You won't leave? Well, we're gonna help you. Leo! I'm coming! <laughs> Hold on, Leo! <laughs> Leo! I can't! Take, hurry up! I'm losing grip! I can't do it! I'm sorry! <laughs> he left you! <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Let's... The saber-toothed bear! He's away! Let's go! I was too busy running away. I didn't notice any saber-toothed bears. You know, Tig, you don't need no skin. You're the bravest tiger in the world. <gasps> Sounds like a saber-toothed bear. <laughs> Keep cool. That's my mom. That's your mom? Quite a mom you have. <gasps> Must be the saber tooth bear. No, no. That one's my mom. We better get home and fast. Everybody has a skin. But to make it glow like the sun, you need to find your path. <clears throat> Every grass blade in Taiga is alive. That's because hidden inside it is the spirit of the tiger. Hidden? How is that? Just like that. <laughs> the spirit of the tiger is everywhere. In the grass and trees, on mountaintops, and even the deepest caves. The mysterious cave. Okay, here. No, don't find me here. And here's where they found me the last time. And this was the one before that. Oh! But here! No way they'll find me here. Leo! Look at this! Hmm. Tig, follow me! Oh dear! Dear! Oh dear! So, where's Mila? <laughs> Tig, have you seen her? Ah, oh, Mila, when will you learn to hide properly? The same place for the third time? Mila. Come on, don't be upset. I know. Let's play tag. No, no, no! One more time, please! The last one? Mila, this was the last time. The last, last time, then! The very last time! I swear! Six, seven, oh, eight, where should I go? nine, where should ten, I go? eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen! Ready or not, here I come! Aha! Tig, I found you! Oh, hey, 
That's not fair. You counted too fast. No, 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 no! Here! There! Here! No, 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 no! There! What should I do? They'll find me here, too. Oh, a cave! I'm gonna hide so well, they'll never find me! Oh! What darkness! This is a good spot to hide. Huh? Uh, what is this? Is anyone here? Uh, I think I'm lost. Can you please show me the way back home? <laughs> Thanks. So, does this mean that I should go there? she would hide. It's weird. She's not here either. Leo! Look, I found some tracks. Wow, it's Mila's tracks. Follow me! Whoa. Uh-uh. I wouldn't go inside. Leo, wait! She's definitely not in there. Tig? Wait a sec. Look, it's Mila's flower. She's in there. Let's go, Tig! You sure? No way! Leo! Oh, come on. No, no. Oh, fine. You win, Leo. I'm coming! Ah! Oh, wow. Leo! Leo, you there? I'm here, Tig. You okay? Well, I didn't lose my tail. <laughs> Leo, where are we? We're in a cave, and Milo is definitely here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so amazing! Oh, wow! Rah. Look, Tig! Whoa. Here are our tracks! Awesome! Tig, <laughs> hurry up! Whoa! Whoa! Ah, Leo! Whoa. Wait for me! Don't leave me alone! <sighs> Mila, Mila! <sighs> <sighs> Can we take a break? No, Tig. The tracks, they disappeared. I'm tired. Help! You hear that? Leo! <gasps> Tig! That's Mila! She's over there! <sighs> okay, fine. Right behind you. Everything will be fine now. 
Leo, how do we get out of here? Huh. I don't know. We just followed Mila's voice. Leo, tell me you're joking. Tell me that you just didn't get us lost. Oh, okay. Don't panic. You can figure this out. Okay, uh, think, think. Uh, this way. Mila, don't be afraid. Oh, I can do this. Don't worry. I'll think of something. I'm not afraid. Well, at first I was a little scared. But then I asked, and he helped me. And here you guys are. Wait, who helped you, Mila? Well, I don't really know. I just thought that I was trapped. But these pretty crystals started to show me the way. Crystals? Mila, I think I got it. It's the spirit of the tiger. Remember Pantiga told us about him? He lives inside grass and trees, on mountain summits, and even in the deepest of caves and stuff. I know how to get out of here. We'll get help from the spirit of the tiger. The spirit of the tiger is the soul of nature. He's everywhere. Every grass blade and every rock is full of life. The spirit of the tiger cannot be seen, but he can be felt. He's always at your side, and he will help you as long as you believe in him. The spirit of the tiger? Seriously? That's just a legend. Fairy tales made for children. That's it. There's no spirit. You're so gullible. Guess we're just gonna have to stay here forever. Tig, wait. Oh, spirit of the tiger, would you please help us to find a way home? gonna follow some bug like he can guide us outside Leo Tig we'll end up staying here forever because of you why me what did I do can't you ask the spirit of yours to guide us out of here a little bit faster I'm getting hungry ask him yourself fine I will nothing tricky about that listen spirit would you mind hurrying it up a little bit <laughs> See that? See that. Wow, Tig. Okay. Great job. Couldn't you be more polite? Uh, right. Pretty, please? Oh, uh, Leo, what are those things? Those are... Those are bats! Hey, wait! Hooray! We made it! <sighs> well, Tig, how about that? Exactly what you asked for. Really fast! Right. In the end, he's really nice, that spirit of the taiga. <laughs> and you didn't believe in him. <laughs> Not true. I believed him. I was joking. Let's go home. Hurry up! You're unbelievable. The spirit of the taiga is everywhere. But only those who genuinely believe in miracles are really able to see him. Tag, <laughs> 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 you're it! Not fair! Cause you, you took a shortcut! Hi guys! I made a song, you know. You want to hear it? <laughs> a song? <laughs> Can you even Mila, sing? Mila, <laughs> let's play tag instead. <laughs> Tig is it. No, I'm not. Not anymore. <laughs> Just you wait. <laughs> Winter tale. No, oh, King. Kids, today... I will tell you a very old story I know about a bear and a magical song. Hear that, Mila? About a song right up your alley. <laughs> it happened a long time ago 
there lived a bear who was very strong and kind, taking care of the entire taiga and making sure everything was in order. But then winter came, bringing the blizzard with it. It howled and raged and covered the forest in a snowy blanket. All the animals hid in their burrows, and the bear grew sad and lonely. He wandered around the forest all by himself and bellowed in a terrible voice, disturbing everyone's sleep and scaring baby animals. Suddenly, a small bird flew over. It sat on a tree branch next to the bear and sang a song. It sang about winter ending and spring coming back, about the sun warming up the earth again, about plants bursting into bloom and animals leaving their burrows to play. The bear listened to the song until he fell asleep. And ever since that time, as soon as winter comes, the bear climbs into his lair and sleeps there until... <sighs> Papa Pandiga, Spring. is it true that the bear sleeps with his paw in his mouth? Oh, uh, how am I supposed to know? There is no creature fearless enough to sniff around the bear's hole. Tig, what do you think? Is it a front paw that the bears have in their mouth? Or a hind one? No, a front one. Hind paws are too far. But to know for sure, we gotta wait till Pandiga falls asleep. Why wait? We can take a peek at Beelzy and see everything. Theo! Are you sure about that? There's nothing to be afraid of. I'll just take a peek and get out. Ah! Leo! Leo! Oh dear! Mila, run! again if he listens to a lullaby. Can I be the one to sing? Be my guest. Go ahead and sing. Why don't you dance while you're at it? This is serious business here. When I was small, my mom used to tell me stories before bedtime. Bingo! A boring story. That's exactly what we need. It'll put him right to sleep. Leo, but how are we going to lure him in? Piece of cake. Snowball tree berries. <laughs> He's coming. In position, everyone. Dig, do it. Whoa, whoa, whoosh, 
I'm the devious blizzard. Ooh, ooh, whoosh, 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 ooh. And the blizzard doesn't like forest inhabitants at all. The only ones who are safe from her are those hiding at home, deep in sleep. And then one day, a baby bear sneaked out of his lair. He started wandering around the forest and looking for friends to play with. And the devious blizzard saw the baby bear and swooped down. Howling! I'll freeze you! I'll get you! I'll freeze you! I'll get you! I'll freeze you! I'll get you! Right! I'll freeze you! I'll get you! I'll freeze you! Take! Stop! The wizard was about to freeze the baby bear! I'll freeze you! I'll get you! I'll freeze you! And only one little bird didn't get scared! It sat on a tree branch close to the blizzard and started singing a song about the spring and the warm sun. The blizzard got scared of the spring and faded away. And at that moment, the blizzard disappeared! Teak, disappear! Huh? Right! Oh, no! Not the spring! Please! I'm so afraid of the spring! No! Not the spring! Oh, I'm afraid! No, the not the spring! The spring walked the baby bear back home and sang him a lullaby. Leo! I can't sing! I don't know how to! What should we do? I don't think he likes Jara's singing. I see that. But my singing's even worse. Yara, let me try. Wait, Mila. What are you doing? Who's going to play the baby bear? The devious blizzard will howl and wail and dress all the trees in a delicate veil. The earth will put on a fluffy white hat. Sleep tight, baby bear. Rest your head. Have no fear. Have wonder. I don't think he's falling asleep. Like a mole in his burrow, like a fox in his hole. And afterwards, winter will bid you goodbye. And spring will arrive in the blink of an eye. Green trees and bright flowers and murmuring creeks. The air is so warm, but for now, you should sleep. Well done, Mila! That was so great! Thank you so much, Magic Birdie. How should I grab him? Gently. Careful not to wake him up. Oh, boy, it's heavy. Here goes. Hey, thanks, Mila, for having my back. <laughs> Come on. It's nothing. So, is he... Is he up? With his front paw in his mouth. Mila. Why didn't you tell us you were such a great singer? My turn. Oh, sleep tight, baby bear. Rest your head, have no fear. <laughs> oh, come on. What's so funny? I'm not that bad. Huh. Like, like mole in his burrow, like, like fox in his, his hole. And afterwards, winter will bid you goodbye. And spring will arrive in the blink of an eye. The air so warm, but for now you should sleep. And that's how a good song can make can make a miracle. <laughs> Over there, hiding behind a bush. <laughs> the tiger kids is like nature's own pantry. And what is the richest, most filling time to be in the forest? What time? Lunch time? No. <laughs> the most generous time is the autumn season. Oh, it's raining. Let's get out of here. 
bottom in Tiger. I hate bottom. Leo, move over. Snake! There's a snake! Snake? Snake! Ah! There's a snake! Where? Over there, under that tree! Right! So huge and angry! It almost bit off my tail. Tig, are you sure you saw it? Of course I'm sure. I almost lost my tail. <laughs> you chickens. You got scared of an empty snakeskin. Come over here. Do not be afraid. Mappa, so the snake is now crawling around completely naked? Like a plain earthworm? But why? No, kids, no. The snake sheds its old skin and crawls out of it wearing a new one. Huh, that's a neat trick. I wish I could do that. Whenever your coat gets dirty, all you gotta do is take it off and carry on. <laughs> Mappa Pandiga, how did the snake learn to shed its old skin? Mmm, that's a very interesting story. <clears throat> Have a seat and listen. Once upon a time, there lived a great snake, the king of all snakes. But he grew very old and couldn't see well or even crawl anymore. So, the great snake ordered his subjects to find a cure for old age. The snakes shot off in all directions. They searched every deep crevice and every underground cave, but found nothing. The last one to come back was the whip snake, carrying a secret root. The great snake ate the root and crawled out of his old skin. Once again, he was young, strong, and healthy. The great snake was very happy. After that, he made it so that a shiny trail is left wherever the whip snake crawled. Mappa Pandiga, what was the name of that magical root? Oh, that root was ginseng. <laughs> the sun! Finally! <laughs> Mappa Pandiga, let's go to... Uh, to eat some grapes. Oh, oh. I'm a little under the weather. Oh, and my back hurts. Mappa Pandiga, what's wrong with you? <gasps> Poor Mappa Pandiga! It looks like he came down with something. We have to help him. Totally. But how? I know how. We are going to find that magical root. Remember? It can cure everything. Right, Leo. Let's go find that... Uh, Singji. Uh, but where do we find it? Oh, is this it? No, Teak. This is a Manchurian walnut. Haven't you listened to anything Mappa told us? We have been looking for this root for an hour. Maybe the thing doesn't exist. I think I found it. <laughs> Follow me. Oh, wow. It's like in a fairy tale. These marks are left by the whip snake. We could track him down. Right, and then ask him to help find the magical root. To cure our mappa. that whip snake is home right now. So let's just get out of here. No, we came here to get ginseng for our mappa, and we need to find it. Leo, what if there's no ginseng here either? Don't say that. Of course there is, and we'll find it. Well then, I'm just gonna wait for you guys here. I don't like swamps. I mean, I'm allergic. Huh. We'll 
think of something. Tig, Leela, help me! Leo! Leo! <laughs> Leo! I'm coming! Help! Pull! Pull me up! Leo! Hang in there! Who's a leech here? Which one of you is the most delicious? No, no, we don't taste good at all. Yeah, I'm bitter and sour. Silly kids. Why would you march into the swamp? We're really <sighs> sorry. We just needed the magical root. It's for a good cause, to help someone. <coughs> Our Mappa Pandiga, he got really sick. Cure any disease. You know Mappa Pandiga? Right, I remember him as he was still a bear cub. Well, hop on. I'll give you a ride. Wait. Take it, and say hello from me to Mappa. We sure will, Mr. Whipsnake. Thank you, Mr. Wise Whipsnake, sir. Goodbye, Mr. Snake. See you later. See you. <sighs> even have to climb this mountain when we could be at home right now playing games. And look. Look at the sky. I think it's gonna rain. I really hate autumn. Okay, we've arrived. Look at how majestic oh, Al-Qaeda so is in autumn. Woohoo! The view is beautiful! <laughs> <laughs> look at that! You know what I always say, right? Autumn is my favorite time of the year. <laughs> Tiger can not only give you food, but also medicine. The Silver River. We came by. 
What? Oh, right. My birthday. Thank you. What is up with you? Are you sick? Oh, no. I was just having such a dream. A dream? What was it about? I was flying over a silver river. And it was so awesome. <laughs> a flying leopard? I like to see that. <laughs> and then? What happened then? And then? And then Tig woke me up. Oh, hey, Leo. I think I know where you can find your silver river. <gasps> the silver river. Just like in my dream. <gasps> Whoa! Leo, Leo, no, Leo! <gasps> this is just a bunch of moths. Come on, Leo. There's no reason to get so upset. It was just a dream. It wasn't just any dream. It was the best dream ever. And I was flying in it. Oh, dear. We've upset our friend. And on his birthday, too. Um. Mappa Pandiga, can we ask you for some advice? Today is Leo's birthday. Um. And he really um. wants to see the Silver River really badly. So I tried to take him to a river as a present, but it failed. The Silver River? <laughs> Few animals get a chance to see it. So, wait a minute, Mappa. Does the Silver River really exist? Let me tell you a story. A long, long time ago, there was a salmon named Mazu. He was swimming around the seas and rivers, maintaining peace and order and helping those in need. Mazu came to have many friends, but one day he saw a bird soaring over the river and also wanted to fly. Mazu jumped up but couldn't take off and fell back into the water. He then became sad and descended to the very bottom. Mazu's friends wanted to help him after all the good he's done. So they asked the river to make his dream come true. The river then turned silver and lifted him up, and the salmon started flying above the water. Ever since that time, once in his life, every salmon follows his dream upriver. But only those who've earned true friendship by doing good deeds are fortunate enough to find the Silver River. You've already made Leo the most important and most valuable gift in the world. And Leo will soon realize that. You just need to practice patience and give your friend Leo some more time. Guys, you've heard the round one. They've gone and given the spotted one the most valuable gift in the world. We have to take that gift away. <laughs> <laughs> and how can we take it if we don't know what it is? We'll make sure the spotted one gives it to us by choice. <laughs> we'll lure him into the most dangerous place we can find. And then you'll give him a scare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good I'll idea. save him, yeah. and then he will give me that valuable thing as a thank you. <laughs> and, and what is that dangerous place? It's uh, the Black Rock. Wow, the, the Black, Black Rock. Rock. What was the spotty dreaming of? <laughs> to see the Silver River. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what he's going to see. <laughs> 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 Leopards don't fly. But I did fly. Oh, hi, Leo. <laughs> uh, great weather today, isn't it? Uh, you know, in this weather, the Silver River looks especially cool. The Silver River? Martin, did you just say the Silver River? Have you seen it? Oh, sure. I could show it to you if you want. Wow, of course I want to. Leo! Leo! Where could he go? Leo! <laughs> ah, hey, watch it, okay? Oh, I can see Leo! And the Martins. Where are they going? They are marching towards the Black Rock. What? Towards the Black Rock? Hmm, something's not right. 
Come on, we have to follow them. <laughs> Go! Go over there! To the very edge! I can't see anything! Ha <laughs> ha! 